Your question. I see society as more and more tending toward the us usurping of my individual rights and freedoms as time goes by. Um, what do you see as the ultimate end of this, i.e. either in democracy or socialism, and why do you think the individuals within the society are letting this happen to them? Well, the last part of your question is the hardest one to answer. If we continue along the road we've been going on, of usurping more and more power to governmental officials to control our lives, I see only one end, and that's a loss of anything that has any meaning as democracy, a loss of human freedom, and a prison state. That's the end. Now, why are people letting them see this happen to them? That's a much more difficult, that's a much more difficult question to answer. And I think it is m largely because of ignorance about where they are going, a lack of recognition. I don't believe they want to go this road, but I believe they are unwittingly letting themselves go down this road <coughs> because on each issue that comes up, people look at their separate special interest instead of the broader interest in, the, in governmental activity. Everybody wants to cut down government provided that those things he has an interest in are maintained. I remember very well the summit conference in Washington on inflation that President Ford had about two or three years ago, in which one representative after another got up and said, in order to stop inflation, we have to cut the government budget. The way to cut the government budget is to spend more on my interests. That's how each separate group does it. So I think we are being driven down this road, fundamentally, by a defect in our political structure, a defect which allows each of these separate elements of government to be voted on separately and never gets the citizen to look at the totality of it and see what the whole thing adds up. The solution is for people like you and me to talk to ourselves and to our fellows and to try to persuade our fellow men to be of like mind, to change the climate of opinion in these respects, to try to correct the political structure to impose a I've been recently working on one particular proposal along those lines, which is to have constitutional amendments setting a maximum limit to the amount the government may spend. I won't go into the details of that, but I think fundamentally we are getting what the public at large is asking for, and the public is asking for it, I believe, because they do not understand where it's going to lead them, because they are misinformed, and they are being led that way by the intellectual community which has gone down a wrong road, in my opinion. Now, I don't believe the case is hopeless. I believe there are many signs of change. There are many more people who recognize the problems with this road now than did 20 or 30 years ago. Experience is a wonderful teacher. So that I think we, you and I, just have to keep on doing our little things, trying to persuade our fellows to, men to be of like mind. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's take the next question. 